hello guys and um, welcome back to my youtube channel and um <clears throat> this is Ademola Badmos so we will try as much as possible to make each video moving on just 10 minutes so we we don't get bored so i'm going to start um, a timer and uh, once it is 10 it stops now oh, not one hour let's start everything all over again so when it is 10 minutes it stops so we do that now and our time starts now so the next thing we want to do in this video is write a simple code and use to hope to introduce us to cypress so what we are going to do is we are not going to change any of the folder structure here yet but bear it in mind in the future we are going to delete these two folders because we do not need it. So we are going to create our own folder inside the integration file. You can right click your integration file to create a new folder, or you can just click on it, then come here and click a new folder. So in order not to make a mistake, I would advise that you right click on it, the actual folder, then click to create a new folder. So the new folder, let's call it test, maybe test cases. So inside test cases, we'll create our first file. Do not forget, when you are still creating just normal tests, it is better to create it using the spec naming convention. convention. So in that index.spec.js. So with that being created, now we need to write the Cypress code. Be aware that the Cypress follows the Mocha syntax. So what that essentially means is that um, it follows a particular code syntax either you use the describe block or you use the con or you use the context block either one of the two would work essentially with uh, cypress when you're using javascript and permit me to say that um while we are trying to do this we'll also visit the typescript version of this in later videos but we want to go with JavaScript first because it is quite easy to grasp and um, JavaScript happens to be one of the easiest language to learn. It's um, after JavaScript is Python or maybe before JavaScript is Python, but um, the debate is not for this particular class. So moving on, we begin to write our codes, but we now understand that we have to follow a particular syntax. So I will write the syntax out right now. <clears throat> so that we can um, use the syntax so the syntax looks like this you have the describe block as you can see um, because of the extensions i've added into my vs code it brings out the explanation of what the describe block the describe block looks like is a mocha like I said, it's a mocha site function, and um, this is the syntax. You have to have the title that will be a string, then you write the function inside it. Now, what I want to just add to this is the fact that this, as it runs, the way it is run is that it works such that you have a function that works inside it, then you have an it block that func that works with it. So this is the eat block inside the describe block. So this eat block will represent like a test case when you want to test. Let's say you want to test your login. This one will do the login for you. But every other type of test case you want to put in, you want to put in it, you can go into one describe block. You do not have to have extra describe blocks inside the same um, file because it would not work that way. So the best practice is have one single describe block and put your eat blocks inside it. So I haven't said that there are other ways to write the same describe block. This you are using the proper function, the regular function, but there is something also called the arrow function. Let me enable this and disable this. So using the describe block, you can use the arrow function as well and use this arrow function. So by default, the best practice is to always have a uniformity in your style of coding. So if you're going to start with um, a describe block and with an eat and you're using an arrow function continue to use the arrow function towards the end till the end of your code it is better that way then the other one is the context and this is the context structure this is what it looks like it's just the same thing you just need to change this place to context 
and uh, it also uses the eat block inside and the eat block represents the same thing like a single test case you can use the regular function as well or you can also use the arrow function which is the last part i will show here oops so that is it that is how the structure is so you can use any one so whichever one you start with just stick with it i think uh, for me personally i prefer the arrow function i just prefer to use it it's just preference so it isn't as if it is a must you must use one of it so let us continue with the describe block and arrow function so in order to just write just a simple test to just open a particular site for us let's say amazon you use the command cy dot visit and inside it you put you put the um you put the um address that you would like to visit let's say amazon excuse me my typing is a bit slow because there's a mic blocking my um hand but uh, we'll get through it so amazon.com this is all we want to do so let's test this because our cypress uh, runner is already opened we can open it here collapse all of this and we'll also see our test case that we created so by clicking on this index.spec.js we can um, run this by seeing the old um, interface and as you can see it is trying to load the amazon page for us which is as which has loaded correctly so congratulations on writing your first script in cypress so in the next class we are going to see how we can load the same page but using the help of the cypress.json file to load it we will see that in the next class see you in the next class thank you once again and do not forget to like and subscribe as you come here i hope and um, i also welcome your constructive criticism thank you see you in the next video